what John said when I first met with him is, uh, I already graduated. I don't ever want to do that again. Our collaboration on the part has been about making sure that it's not something that either of us have done before. I, I thought the script and the structure of it, there were a lot of really interesting things. And, and the character had um, a chance to be a character who wasn't kind of a blinded urban tunnel teen. I got a question. If you guys know so much about women, why are you sitting in a gas and sip and no women around anywhere? By choice, man. That's yeah, right, man. It's a conscious it's a choice. choice. I'm going to take out Diane Court again. Well, that's unlikely. Diane Court doesn't go out with guys like you. She's a brain. Trapped in the body of a game show hostess. What do you have in common? You're going to be part of an international think tank, and he's going to be kicking punching bags. And so begins the romance between Lloyd and the class beauty. John Cusack and Ioni Skye star as the modern-day Romeo and Juliet in Say Anything, an unlikely love story from 20th Century Fox. He, like, falls in love with her at first sight. I think he just knows he's got to make a power move and, and see how it works. And then once he does make that move, he really does fall for her hard. So what's your job this summer? Job? Being a great date. No, I'm serious. So am I. Not only is he just so nice, he's just so appealing to her. She sees all what he's about. It just made her happy. It made her know that she could be in love. Then call me later. OK. Hey, going again, yeah, starting places. It's not about a 15-year-old guy that has 20 beautiful girls that help him lose his virginity, you know? It's about relationships that are real. Lloyd is a warrior for optimism, and everyone in this movie bumps up against Lloyd. Everyone in his world bumps up against him and tries to keep him down and says, you can't be optimistic. You'll never get a girl like Diane Court. I wanted to ask you, how'd, how'd you get Diane Court to go out with you? I called her up. This is great. This gives me hope. Thanks. Did you really come here with Lloyd Dobler? How did that happen? He made me laugh. He's a strange guy in a lot of the film. He doesn't really speak unless really spoken to, and I don't think he wastes words. What are your plans for the future? You mean like career? He's not like um, some glib charm monster who's just much too hip for his years. I mean, he has interesting thoughts, but he doesn't quite know how to express them. I don't want to sell anything, buy anything, or process anything as a career. I don't want to sell anything bought or processed, or buy anything sold or processed, or process anything sold, bought, or processed, or repair anything sold, bought, or processed. I don't think it's just James Court. I don't think any father would embrace uh, a daughter's boyfriend who was, uh, who was like Lloyd. Would you just take this pen, please, and write me? feels it's the right thing to break up with him. But she really doesn't. I don't believe this. You just broke up with me. Hey, Lloyd, someone's here to see you. Diane is always being told by her father that she can say anything to him and that they have this wonderful relationship. And in fact, she has that relationship with Lloyd. I love you. What? I love you. How many more times do I have to say it? One more time would be nice. Like me. The movie is about that, you know, believing in your instincts, which for Lloyd is a triumph of optimism, and for Diane, it's, it's proving that her instincts were right. Nobody really thinks it will work, do they? No. We just described every great success story. 